Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. This is the Instro C2 RGB video light. Now, I've been quite excited for this. It's primarily a light designed for mounting on top of your camera. But instead, I'll be using it as a backlight. First thing that strikes me is that it's it's quite small. And the box is small, so I'm guessing the product is going to be tiny. It almost fits in my hand, this whole box. Um, but I guess that's part of the design because it's, again, supposed to be mounted on top of your camera. But I'm hoping it's going to be um, powerful enough for what I need it to do. Let's look at the specifications. It goes from 2800 Kelvin to 8500 Kelvin. It says the brightness adjustment range is 1 to 100%. I hope that means that it doesn't jump from like 5% to 10% and there's nothing in between. 72 lamp beads, 21 of them are warm white light, 21 cold white light and 30 RGB. So I hope that this can push out a lot of different colors to replace my uh, Hue lighting system. 3000 um, battery capacity, continuous working hours 1.5 hours, that should be enough. And charging interface USB type C. I hope that you can actually charge it whilst using it, just in case the 1.5 hours um, isn't quite enough. Okay, with that out of the way, let's open the box and see what we get. There's something about this, um, this soft, rubbery packaging thing that I really like. Always feels like good quality and it's recyclable. Let's put this aside for now. Let's see what other things we get in here. Thank you card. This looks like a wipe it's got the branding on it there USB-C cable for charging and this is the mounting screw it looks like it will screw under the light and it has a hot shoe on it so this is how you connect it to your camera this will go into your cold shoe on your camera. Okay. There's a user guide in there. But we probably won't need that, I hope. This also comes with its own softbox diffuser. I don't use any of my lights without diffusers, so this will be useful. If you don't know, then diffusers help to get rid of the harsh light. And here it is, with the softbox on. I'm just going to quickly slide this out. This softbox is made of silicone. It feels quite substantial. It's also got the hole at the bottom so that whilst it's uh, mounted onto your camera you can still have this softbox on top of it and here is the Instro C2 if it's in the palm of my hand um, let me compare it to a few things this is the box for the Apple 20 watt power adapter About half as thick. Here are the Apple AirPod Pros. Apple AirPod Pros are about um, half the size I guess and roughly the same thickness so it's very portable that's for sure. Just in case you want to see roughly the same length as my knife but you get a better idea if I actually pull out the measuring tape. So it measures at 
9.5 centimeters, about six and a half, roughly two centimeters thick. There's the screw where this hot shoe will screw onto. Uh, this hot shoe screw feels okay. It's quite plasticky, but this part is solid. Mm, slightly hollow feeling plastic. Maybe better look for you. This looks like the power button um, settings, maybe. Plus, minus, and there's the USB socket. See all the bulbs here. I'm not sure which one are the RGB and which one are the white light bulbs. Oh, you can mount it from the side too, that's helpful. So it doesn't have to be horizontally mounted, it can be vertically mounted. So I'm guessing the way this works is that you turn it on and then you choose the settings. Okay, let's just see how this works. Now it's kicking off. I guess you might have to um, have a bit of understanding of um, RGB mixing to get this going. Otherwise you could do what I just done and just play around with it. The M button might be mold. Here we go. Lighting. Cinema. Oh, okay. So you press the mold button and then click the plus button and then these special features will start these special modes. So this is the ambulance mode. Fast RGB. Slow RGB. SOS. That's pretty cool. Don't know when you need to use this. Yeah, this is quite nice. It's simulating a candlelight effect. Lightning, just in case you need special effects in the background. So here's where you change the Kelvin. Wow, it goes quite bright, doesn't it? This is quite bright. So it packs a lot of power for um, a light so small. That's quite impressive. It does indeed go up to 8,500K. I'm gonna turn this Kelvin down so you can see the change gradually. mentioned earlier that I was hoping that the jump wouldn't be quite sudden and it's not like every every button press and every percentage um, is a change in increment it's not going like so the, the RGB the LED lights I'm using you can twist the knob and it it only changes like when the number goes up a few times or something I don't know if that makes any sense but Basically what I'm saying is the control that you have here on the brightness and uh, the tone of your lighting is really good. I'm not sure what this setting is, but maybe I'll try to explain it in my written review. Um, but already I can see that uh, it's going to be really useful for me because it's, it's strong. So it's going to work as a backlight and I can change the colors around. It seems actually stronger than the Philips Hue light. So it will work as a uh, mood lighting. Let me place the diffuser back on to see how that looks. I'll mostly be using it with the diffuser. I 
really like that. This is a really cool piece of kit. Okay, that does it for this unboxing. Thanks for checking out this quick look of the Instro C2. I'm going to leave you with some test shots and lo-fi beats by my friend the lo-fi medic. So check out his channel below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.